Hi, and welcome to day 99 of our teen devotional. Let's have a moment of prayer. Most gracious God, we come before you, Lord God, just thanking you again for another day, Lord, another day that we are able to glorify your name, another day, Lord God, that we are to come into your midst, come into your presence and learn more about you through your written word. Father, we ask, Lord God, that you'll give us understanding, that you'll give us, Lord God, the, uh, the information that we need to take it to heart and not just to mind. So that, Father, our lives, Lord God, may glorify the God that we serve. Father, we bless you. We honor you. We magnify you. We exalt you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Your reading is from Joshua chapter 3, verse 1 through chapter 5, verse 12. And then Luke chapter 13, verses 1 through 30. So um, this devotion is... uh, looking at our opinions of others. Uh, Many, many times whenever bad things happen to people, we think, what did they do wrong? Because in our mind, we are still conditioned to believe that bad things happen to bad people. And so whenever you are a good person and something bad happens to you, then our minds, most of our minds go to the thinking of, okay, What did you do bad? Because a lot of us have been taught that um, you will be punished for the things that you did. And so this lesson talks about um, not having that that idea, not not having that feeling or or that that superior thinking that because nothing bad has happened to me, then I'm all right with the Lord. And that if something bad happens to you, then you did something bad to deserve it. So we have to be very, very careful about that pointing finger. Got to be very, very careful about that. And so while we don't know why these things happen, to different individuals. The one thing that Jesus talks about is to, number one, not not judge, not point fingers at, at individuals that things happen to, and also not take upon that, that condemnation on yourself, that, okay, something bad happened to me, so it's something that I did wrong. It's, it's that guilt of two ways, condemnation, self-condemnation on on you and then condemning other people. That is a spirit that God is never, ever, ever pleased with, never pleased with. And so as a believer, as a youth, as a Christian, then your position is to God, let me, let me take care of me. Let me make sure that I am in right standing with you. Let me make sure that I am living a life that is pleasing to you. Let me be supportive of other people. And whatever happens, as long as I am in right standing with you, then Father, I know that it'll be okay. I know that it'll work out. And to be in that position that if someone comes to you and say, hey, you know, this bad happened to you. What did you do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. I have I have confessed my sins. I'm in right standing before the Lord. I, I constantly ask for his mercy and his forgiveness. Whatever it is, God has the final say and he's in control. And then you are free from other people. I like something that um, an evangelist said. Um, I was listening to him maybe four or five months ago. And he was saying that the biggest freedom that he could have ever experienced in his life is freedom from people, freedom from other people, freedom from himself, freedom to to serve God, to do God's will and not be bound by the freedom, not be bound by the opinions of other people, by the opinions of himself. He said he is free from himself. He is free from people and his only life's mission is to serve and love the Lord. And, and I, I love that because that is such a as such a huge hurdle 
to get over is whenever you're always bound up by what people will think about you. You're always bound up by if you're saying the proper thing. Certainly we should use wisdom, but we should not be to the point where we will not do for God because of what people think that we will not serve God because of how we think we will look in front of others. And that whenever things happen to other people, you are the first one to condemn them and to say it's because they did something awful. That's why that happened to them. So we have to be very, very careful of the thoughts that we think. And the Bible says that whenever you keep your mind stayed on him, that he will keep you in perfect peace. So again, I cycle back to staying in the word, committing yourself to things that are pleasing to God. And that'll keep you from, from that, that monster of opinion of other people and, and the, and the cousin monster of analysis that want to know why that the, in other words, those, uh, those spirits of reason, of reason, you know, let me, let me reason why this and reason why that. Whenever in many, many instances, the reason that you have is not the reason that God or not the answer that God has at all, completely off by any reasoning that you could ever come up with. And so our prayer, and I love how they put it here in the book, it says, Lord, sometimes I'm not sure I deserve forgiveness. I worry I have uh, made the wrong, the wrong mistakes. It's not my job to measure how guilty other people may or may not be. I want to come clean about my own sin and recommit myself to following you. And so this is just a very humbling way of saying, as pastor always say, uh, keep your head down in your word and keep your hands clean. And you won't have to consider the thoughts of others about you and you won't have time to consider any other thoughts about anybody else. Amen. So, um, I, I, I tend to, uh, tell individuals when they come to me, they bring me, um, a thought cause they always suggest things. Like, you know, what do you think about that? Or what do you think about this person? And I mean this in all, you know, in all sincerity, but my, my attitude is, um, that's not my business. And, uh, and again, I mean this in, in all, you know, sincerity, I, I don't care that much to be involved in somebody else's business. I have my own to take care of. I'm trying to, you know, keep myself in a way that's pleasing to God. I don't, I don't care that much about that. Care about the person care about how I can help, but I don't care that much about gossip. I don't care that much. Even whenever I'm, I'm watching things, you know, on TV, as I'm flipping the channel, there are some things that I will turn simply because I don't care that much. There are some things that I'm following. Um, I'm looking on social media and I see some things there and, you know, people tend to become very, very, uh, involved in everything. And I make no comments because I don't, I don't have space in, in my, in my mind to, to devote to that. I, I just don't have the space. And so I don't and I won't. And, um, and I'm good. Amen. So, uh, our lesson again is just to not consider what other people, you know, why things happen. Just take care of you. Praise the Lord. Most gracious God, we come before you thanking you, Lord God, once again for all that you do for us. Thanking you, God, that uh, your wisdom and your knowledge is above above us, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that we're able to come to you and, and Father, just continue to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, Lord God, that we have more than enough to do for you, that we really have no time to consider the ways and the things of others other than giving them the good news. And so, Father, we ask that you give us the grace to work out our own salvation. Give us the grace to share your love with others. And Father, give us, Lord God, the heart's desire to make our lives pleasing unto you. Father, we bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.
Amen. God bless you. See you next time.